Oh, guys, look what we found. We're gonna sleep straight in here like this. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be some food that we're gonna have to have. Oh my goodness, guys. I think we may have just struck gold. This is freaking wild, man. Hopefully they stay there. Let's create a spear quickly. Where is he? There he is. Look at that. Now all we need to do is just get through the night and into tomorrow morning. Oh my goodness, guys. Take a look at this right now. We are on this bloody island. And for the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be surviving with only my knife. That's it. We're going back to the bare minimum, baby. This one's gonna be a super rough and rugged one. We're surviving on this beach with no food, no water, and no shelter, and only this knife. <laughs> Guys, we're surviving out here on this beautiful tropical island right now. And I got a few resources. Obviously, we've got our trusty knife. This is gonna be the only thing that's really gonna help us for the next few days. Hopefully we can make some weapons or something like that that's gonna allow us to get some food later on. And check out how sick this blade is, man. It's from remote Indonesia, so sick. Let's see what else is in this backpack. First of all, I got a t-shirt. This should hopefully give me some warmth throughout the night. Stop the mosquitoes if there's any, sand flies, all that type of stuff. So this is gonna come in very, very handy. Next, we got a drone. That's not really gonna help me at all. And finally, we got our GoPros and GoPro batteries. That is literally everything in this bag. Look, take a look. There's nothing else in there. Now you guys know I'm not cheating. We have established the challenge. We are on this beach for the next few days with no food, no water, and no shelter. We're gonna start making our way along this beach, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some resources that's gonna help us. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this water is right behind me? It is actually incredible out here. So we're kind of sleeping in paradise, although we might be sleeping in the sticks or in a cave or something like that. But at least it's paradise when we get to wake up in the morning. This beautiful Indonesia. Woohoo! This is literally what we live for, baby. No way, bro. <laughs> Guys, look what we found. I found a freaking Nautilus, man. Look at this thing. This thing is psycho. Look at the colors on it. I actually found one of these last time I was in Indonesia, but this thing, man, is absolutely crazy. You can see it's literally got this glowing inside right there. Oh my goodness, this right here is nature's treasure. I can't believe I just found a freaking Nautilus, guys. If that's not a sign from God, then I don't know what is. Woo! What's this? Oh, we got a nice bottle right there. Alrighty, we can maybe use this water bottle that we found right here. It's a nice glass bottle, super clear. So we'll put this one in the backpack. I don't know what we're going to use it for just yet, but it might come in handy. It is actually crazy how much stuff gets washed up. Look at this right here. We got all of these bad boys. Look at that. It's an old bottle. All these old shoes, man. Look at that. That's not going to fit me. Old thongs. Coconut. Nah, that one's dead. There's nothing inside of that. All I'm really finding out here is bottles and thongs. So I just reckon I'm gonna find some type of material that we can hopefully use to get a shelter going. Once we get the shelter going, we can find, I guess, something that we can use to make a weapon and then find some water a little bit later on. What I'm looking for is a long, straight piece of wood that's hopefully gonna allow us to build some type of cross beam and then we can lay, I guess, small little beams over the side of it. This right here is absolutely perfect. Look at this. That is a long straight piece of wood right there. You can see it looks seems pretty strong and it's got a nice little bend in it. This looks like a really good spot to build a shelter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as like a cross beam structure and then I'm gonna lay things over the side of it. That's hopefully gonna create some type of like teepee that we can use to, I guess, make a shelter. We need to dig a hole. Now this hole needs to be super deep because it's pretty much gonna hold the main beam of this structure. We want it to be super deep. <sighs> You're just gonna dig out this hole. I want it to sit on an angle just like that. That's perfect. I'm gonna fill it in, make sure that it's super solid and compact. We've got our cross beam. Now we need to find some pieces to lay down over either side of it. Gonna create some type of teepee that we can sleep in. Oh my goodness, man. I'm sweating like a bloody crocodile in a handbag factory. But you guys can see right now, we got this structure. It's going really, really good. We've started, I guess, filling it all in. I just want to grab a few more pieces. I've just found an absolute game changer on the beach. Take a look at this. This looks like an old, I guess, like fishing net or something like that that's washed up. Really tangled up right here, but we can definitely use a few of these pieces to uh, probably just bind our structure with. So I'm just going to cut a few off. There you go. 
There's another one. You can see right here, guys, I've collected a whole heap of this fishing line right here. I'm actually gonna use this right now to bind our structure. Alrighty. And you can see right there, they super solid. And take a look at that, it's super, super solid. That ain't going nowhere. You can see right now, we got the foundation of where we're gonna sleep tonight. We got this nice teepee. What I need to find now is something to lay across this that's gonna, I guess, just fill it all in. But these we can definitely use. Lay these across and it's gonna create an epic structure. Look, it might not be the most beautiful structure in the world, but this right here, this is home, baby. Take a look at this right now. So what we've done is we just filled this in. It just looks like a big bird's nest, man, but uh, there's a reason why birds do it, eh? Just come tuck ourselves in underneath this right now, and uh, we'll get rid of all these pieces that are gonna piss us off throughout the night, but this is gonna offer some shade and somewhere that we can, I guess, stay for tonight. And it's already a lot cooler in here compared to out there, man. We can uh, dig this out a little bit too to make more room, but we can just sleep straight in here like this. And look, we've got our own little, I guess, teepee structure. Woo! This is home, baby. Make sure this ground is super flat because this is where we're sleeping tonight. Alrighty, this is us. We've got home, baby. <laughs> How good's this little structure? This is us for the next uh, day or two. So we're gonna be sleeping in this bad boy. We'll be chilling in here. I just need like 20 minutes to get my breath back, man, because whew, that actually was quite tiring building this structure and I'm getting thirsty. So we're gonna have to start looking for some water and uh, building some type of weapon that we can hopefully go get some food with. I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but we got a school of fish in this shore break. Right here, look at this. You see this? That's a school of fish. We can definitely catch some of them. All right, we need to create a spear. We've just found that school of fish in the shore break. Hopefully they stay there. Let's create a spear quickly. All right, I'm just gonna keep my eye on them. I'm gonna go start exploring, see if we can find the right type of wood for a spear. But I've got my eyes on them. I know exactly where they are. This should work. We need to create one quick. All right, that bait school is still out there, guys. I've got my knife right here. I need to quickly carve out a spear and we'll go start walking in those shallows, see if we can spear something. So I've just found a really nice piece of wood right here. Take a look at this bad boy. It's a nice long piece of bamboo right here. It's got some rubbish on it. We're gonna clean it up real quickly and uh, we'll turn this into a spear. I just got this piece of bamboo right now. I've just found it washed up on the beach. What I really like about it is it splits up into, I guess, all these little pieces. Now what I'm gonna try to do is sharpen those individual, I guess, ends and that should create like a really nice barb structure. It's not gonna travel through the air so we don't really need to worry about all these bits because uh, obviously that would affect its flight. What you can see right now is I've actually split this bamboo and I've slided in two pieces of wood. Now you can see right there, these pieces of wood. I'm just gonna try slide them all the way down. And what it's doing is it's actually opening up this end right here. And from there, we can sharpen these ends that will create our spear. And we're getting there. Woo. You guys can see right now, I've created this spear right here. Now what I've done is I've actually shoved down a few pieces of wood that pretty much opens up this uh, spear and creates like a barb head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start exploring this ocean right here, see if we can go freaking smack something with this bad boy. All right, we need to find that school of fish. That's pretty sharp right there. So plan of the attack is I'm not gonna be able to throw this spear, so whatever I find, I'm just gonna have to jam it straight into, I guess, whatever creature we come across. Birds are always a good indicator of where the fish are, so. They were just circling above here right now. So I think that dark patch right there, I think that's the fish. You see this dark patch right in front of me. That is the school of fish. I think, is it? It's not. No, it's not. I freaking thought it was. It's freaking seaweed, man. All right, there's a lot of fish that are shooting off but I just don't have time to, I guess, jab them with my spear, so. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna keep exploring a little bit further, but if we cannot get anything, I'm gonna wait for this tide to go out and then we'll go explore the rock pools with this spear and hopefully we'll have a bit more success once the animals are trapped in these tide pools. I do not recommend walking across this coral right now. I got barefoot, there's sea urchins, freaking moray eels, all sorts that could light me up right now. So I'm just treading lightly. Alrighty, unsuccessful first hunt guys. 
We've got our spear. It probably d does need a little bit of refining. I might refine it down a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head up into our campsite because I wanna get out of this sun. It's absolutely killing me right now. And I wanna see if we can find some liquids. So right, let's start making our way back up to camp, eh? The coconut trees right here. So you can see, look at this. Heaps of coconuts. This is what we want. Let's see if we've got anything inside of it. Oh, look at that, it's been eaten. Doesn't seem to be too many nice coconuts along this beach. All of them are just rotten. Can't find any nice green baby ones. At this point, I'm just walking around checking coconuts. Does this one have anything? No, it's empty. No, nah, nothing inside of that. Oh yeah, that one's got something inside of it. Look, it's no fresh baby green coconut but uh, it's got some liquid inside of it, which is gonna be very, very, very useful. All right, you can see this coconut is not very green at all. It's quite an old coconut, so I'm not gonna be able to take the skin off it because it's real hard to get the skin off these ones. It's like, they're really, really like brittle. <clears throat> I just choked on some sand. I'm gonna try just find a point where I can puncture it with my knife. Right, I don't know if I pierced it just yet. You guys see that? Just straight sand in my mouth. Wasn't even any liquid. All right, that's got to go through it. Now my knife's broken. Are you freaking kidding me, man? The knife is still stuck in the bloody coconut. <laughs> Can't believe that. We started with only a knife and now pretty much got nothing, man. This knife's not coming out of this coconut either. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's so good. I can't even explain to you guys how refreshing it is having a coconut after bloody building this shelter and going hunting and everything like that. So refreshing. Literally coming off the knife. Look at this. Oh. All right, I think it's time to go hunting, guys. I've refixed my knife right here. I've just uh, found this piece of wood. I've rebound it with that fishing line that we found. So I'm gonna take this bad boy and we got our spear down there. Let's go see if we can find some food, hey? Because we need to find some food. We need to get a fire started. We've got our shelter for tonight and uh, we might have to find a bit more liquid. So let's start exploring. Let's go. Now what I'm looking for is animals that have gotten stuck in these pockets of water that we can hopefully spear right here. Oh, look at this. This is a little starfish, man. It's actually incredible. Look at this little starfish. Ooh, look at him move. It's crazy the way that they move. All right, I cannot disturb this guy. There's no way I'm gonna eat him. It's your lucky day, mate. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Got a blue starfish that we've just found. That's absolutely incredible. All right, there's no way that I'm eating that. All right, I think we found our first bit of food, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it to myself. Look at this thing right here. We've got a bloody sea cucumber. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, oh, yuck, look at that. That is disgusting. Look at all the white stuff coming out of it. This right here, guys, this is gonna be some food that we're gonna have to have. I have eaten one of these before, but I've never eaten this type before. So I'm gonna actually leave him in this tide pool right here. And uh, that is gonna be some dinner for later on. We're gonna start forming a collection. We know that guy's right there. We'll take him a little bit later on. He can't go anywhere. So see if we can find anything a bit more substantial. This is actually psycho. We're inside a cave with our spear. Up here, big crab. He's right there. Oh, missed him, missed him, missed him. Oh, missed him again. Oh, where is he? There he is. I think I got him. All right, I got him here, guys. We got a crab. We got him. We got ourselves a crab right there, guys. You can see. He's not a monster by any means, but that right there, that is some food for us. All right, so we got ourselves a crab right there. Not a bad size, I guess, rock crab right there. We'll put him straight over the fire. He'll have some meat in his claws and in his body right there that we'll be able to snack on. So I put him out straight away. You can see that's where their central nervous system is, straight in their body. So I just spiked him. Thank you, buddy, for your dinner. It's good to know that our spear wasn't a complete waste of time. All right, we've got another really big crab right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. There he is, he's in this pool. He's in this pool right here. Oh, just missed him. Oh no! I just missed him right there, guys. Oh my goodness. 
I nearly had him. That was an absolute monster crab, that one. I've just found this big rock right here. Looks like there might be some snails on this rock that we could probably eat. Yeah, look at this, there's a few snails. All right, let's pick off a few of these. Eesh. All right, we've collected a few snails right here. We'll see if we can collect a few more on these rocks right here. We're starting to work up a nice little dinner. Look at this. There's a cave here, man. All right, let's go have a look, see what's inside here. This is so creepy, man. Hello. Man, this is so creepy back here. Look at this. This is freaking wild, man. I would have slept in here, I reckon, but when this tide comes in, the water flows all the way to the back here, so. We would just get absolutely smoked throughout the night. There's some fish in this rock pool right here. Set up on this rock. And when one comes out, I'll just jab him. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought I got him. But she off missed him. The fish have gotten the better of me, guys. I'm not going to be able to get any of those. They're just way too spooked. As soon as I took that first shot, they just didn't want to come out anymore. So we've got those snails in the pocket. We've got that crab. We'll pick up that sea cucumber on the way back through and uh, we'll give her a shot. Oh my goodness, guys. I think we may have just struck gold. There's no way. This water right now is flowing out of this bloody mountain. I got a feeling that I think it's fresh. It's a little bit salty. That's fresh water, man. Look at this. That's fresh water that's running out of this freaking mountain. Can you guys see this right now? That's fresh water. That's good enough to drink, 100%. All right, so we can go back, get our bottles. We can collect water right there. Man, I can't believe we just found a spring flowing out of this mountain right here. That's incredible, what the hell? We've done it, we've struck gold. All right, we've got water right there. We've built our shelter. We've got some food in our pocket. We need to go get that fire going. And now uh, we need to get ready for the night ahead. All right, we're making sure to grab this bloody sea cucumber. Look at this thing. Can't believe I'm about to eat this. Are you kidding me right now? All right, we'll take this back to camp. We've collected a few ingredients, guys, for the cook up. Let's get back to camp. Let's get this fire going. We're back at camp. We'll hang up the spear right there. All right, how can we go bit down? Let's clean up this seafood. Look at this thing. We got our snails. We got our crab right here. Look, it's no monster mud crab, but at least it's a crab. And then we got our bloody sea cucumber. It's time to clean up our seafood right now. I cannot believe I'm about to eat this thing. Look at it, it's a sea cucumber. These bad boys right here, we don't even need to clean up. They can just go straight on the fire. What I'm gonna do with this sea cucumber though, is I'm just gonna split it straight down the middle. I just want to grab out all the guts that are on the inside of this bad boy. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me, man? Look at that. Look at the guts that just came out of this thing. That is freaking disgusting. Oh! All right, I'm getting all this out. Oh, that is disgusting. Just about cleaned it all up right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna slice a few pieces off. We can uh, we can try it raw. We've got our ingredients right there. Let's go up into these bushes and find some kindling. Look at this. This is like an old husk. Use all this, get a fire going. All right, it's going to be really good. All right. See, that sun is getting super low right now, so I'm trying to race to get this fire going. I'm just tearing up uh, this kindling that I found. It's trying to make it super, I guess, airy and fluffy. You can see right there. All right, that should hopefully take a spark. I've been trying to get this fire going for about 20 minutes, guys, but those coconut husks, I think they're a little bit damp, so I've just gone and collected, I guess, this dead grass right now. This should hopefully take off. It seems a lot drier, so hopefully it just takes this spark. We finally got this fire on the cook, man. It took so long to get that kindling. Everything on this beach was super, super wet. Obviously, it just got wet with that massive tide that we had earlier in the day, but seems like we finally got it going. Oh, such a relief when you get this fire going, I'm not gonna lie. We're losing light super quick, so I'm gonna get our seafood straight on. We'll grab our snails. Man, they've started to escape. Get my snails just going here on the edge of that fire. We'll get our crab straight on top. Look, it's no mud crab, but at least it's food. It's gonna keep us going into tomorrow morning. All right, we got our sea cucumber right there, straight over the fire. That's perfect. Buddy, we got our seafood on right now, and we got dinner, woohoo! Look guys, it's no bloody fine dining experience, but it's gonna be some energy that's gonna keep me going into tomorrow morning. And that's all I need right now. You can see I'm absolutely cooked. It has been one wild day exploring this land, building shelters, 
finding that water well that I need to go to very, very soon because I'm getting thirsty. But first I want to have some of this food and then we got to get ready for night ahead. I think our food's just about ready. I'm going to take her off. All right, we got our crab right there. Let's grab this sea cucumber. I'm not looking forward to that. Let's grab these snails. Alrighty, it's dinner time, baby. It's time to hook in. All right, let's try these snails first. You can see, we got our snail right there. That's actually pretty good. I'm not even joking. Beautiful snail. This crab a shot. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see, that's all meat in there. All right, let's give that a shot. Never eaten one of these before. There's not that much meat in it, but it's actually really nice. Look at the legs on it too. It's actually got like quite a bit of meat in the legs. You can see, look at that, that's all meat. The crab is definitely winning. You can eat it straight with the shell on. It's not even unpleasant at all. Even the crab, like an eight out of 10. Snails, they're probably getting like a seven. Let's try the sea cucumber right now. It's like a pee pee that's, you know, had a rough day. Maybe in Antarctica, it's really cold out. If this doesn't make me sick, then nothing will. You guys better go drop a like right now. Let's give her a shot. It's really chewy, man. And it just like, doesn't have a nice flavor at all. Nah, it's a no for me on the sea cucumber. All right, for everyone out there that's like, wait, you should have ate it raw. Let's try it raw. Look, it's probably better raw, but it's just not for me, guys. Ugh. It's got like a sour, bitter taste. It's just not good. I'm gonna stick to the crab. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm actually pleasantly surprised how good that crab and those snails were. That sea cucumber, man, it's still a no from me. There's no way that that is a delicacy. Tastes like absolute rubbish. But anyway, I wanna go up to our campsite and I wanna start getting ready for the night ahead. Now all we need to do is just get through the night and into tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not really looking forward to it but at least we're sleeping on the beach and it's probably one of my favorite places to sleep. So you guys better stick with me through the night. I'm getting myself ready for bed right now, guys. We're tucking ourselves into this shelter. If anything happens throughout the night, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, it's gonna be one wild ride. You guys better bloody stick with me. Must be like one or two in the morning right now. There's heaps of like these sand fleas that keep jumping all over me, but we're getting through the night. I think only a few more hours and that sun should start to show itself. I'll see you guys very soon. Oh my goodness, guys. Don't know if you can see it, we got first light out there. Looks like a storm's about to roll in too. I'm getting out of here right now, guys. We've managed to survive with no food, no water, and no shelter. Please show your support, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. And I'm getting the hell out of here. Much love. Shoo!